what is DSL Internet Access? Digital Subscriber Line or DSL is an Internet Access method that uses a standard phone line to provide high-speed Internet Access. These lines, because they were developed only for voice signals, or restricted in bandwidth and data rate. However, special techniques have been developed to allow very high speed data transmission on them. DSL is one of the most popular ways ISPs provide broadband internet access, but it is feeding in popularity and availability because it is a relatively inexpensive internet access. It is often found in homes and small businesses, but even there, it is quickly being replaced by fiber optic. DSL provides dedicated point-to-point -point public network access. This DSL connection is typically between a network service provider, central office, and the customer site. With DSL, a different frequency can be used for digital and analog signals, which means that you can track on the phone while you upload data. For DSL services, two types of system exist, asymmetric digital subscriber line or ADSL and hybrid digital subscriber line or HDSL. ADSL provides a high data rate in only one direction. It enables fast download speeds but significantly slower upload speeds. ADSL is designed to work with existing analog telephone service. With fast download speeds, ADSL is well suited for home use in internet access. In contrast to ADSL, HDSL provides a bidirectional high data rate service that can accommodate services such as video conferencing that require high data rates in both directions. A variant of HDSL is very high rate digital subscriber line or VHDSL which provides an HDSL service at very high data transfer rates. Asymmetric DSL, probably the most common of the DSL varieties, which uses different channels on the line. One channel is used for POTS and is responsible for analog traffic. The second channel provides upload access, and the third channel is used for downloads. With ADSL, downloads are faster than uploads, which is why it is called asymmetric DSL. ADSL2 made some improvements in the data rate and increased the distance from the telephone exchange that the line can run. ADSL2 Plus traveled the downstream bandwidth and kept all the features of ADSL2. Both ADSL2 and ADSL2 Plus are compatible with the legacy ADSL equipment. Before we give a list of the various types of DSL, let us define a few terms. Symmetrical means a service in which data travel at the same speed in both directions. Downloads and uploads have the same bandwidth. Asymmetrical means a service that transmit at different rates in different directions. Downloads move faster than uploads. Downstream means traffic is from the network to the customer. Upstream means traffic from the customer to the network operating center. DSL arrived on the scene in the, in the late 1990s and it has different types since 1990. Together all these variations are known as a XDSL. Let's talk about the different types of DSL. Symmetric DSL or SDSL, a version that offers the same speeds for uploads and downloads, suitable for business applications, 
such as web hosting, intranets, and e-commerce. It's not widely implemented in the home or a small business environment and cannot share a phone line. ISDN DSL or IDSL A symmetric type of DSL commonly used in environments in which SDSL and ADSL are unavailable. IDSL does not support analog phones. Red Adaptive DSL or RADSL A variation on ADSL that can modify its transmission speeds based on signal quality. RADSL support line sharing. Very high bitrate DSL or VHDSL An asymmetric version of DSL can share a telephone line. VHDSL support high bandwidth applications such as voice over IP. VHDSL can achieve data rates up to approximately 10 MB per second, making it fastest available form of DSL. To achieve high speeds, VHDSL uses fiber optic cabling. High bitrate DSL or HDSL. A symmetric technology transmission rates in both direction, HDSL does not allow line sharing with analog phones. Why there are so many DSL variations? The answer is quite simply that each type of DSL is aimed at a different user, business or application. Businesses with high bandwidth needs are more likely to choose a symmetric form of DSL whereas home offices are choosing an option that enables full line sharing at the expense of bandwidth. In addition, some of the DSL variants are older technologies. For this reason, DSL lengths change slightly. This table summarizes the maximum speed of the various DSL options. The speed potential of an ADSL line depends on how far away the subscriber is from the central office. The greater the distance, the lower the data rate. As you see in this table, the DSL variation name like ADSL, ADSL2, ADSL2+, Plus, SDSL, and the upload and download speed. There are different upload and download speeds. Newer versions of ADSL have also been developed to permit data rates of up to about 12 and 24 megabit per second. Speeds may vary greatly depending on the technology used and the quality of the connection. DSL using regular full lines transfer data over the same copper wire. The data and voice signals are sent over different frequencies, but sometimes the signals interfere with each other. This is why you use DSL filters. A DSL filter works by minimizing this interference, making for a faster and cleaner DSL connection. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel.